I'm Roderick Schneider. I'm the general manager of Workforce.com across the United Kingdom and Europe. Workforce.com is a management system for your staff to help ensure that you have the right people in the right places at the right time to ensure your business runs smoothly and is as profitable as possible. Exhibiting at the restaurant show means that we can connect with some of our customers face to face, which you know, in these times with COVID has been so difficult. So it's great to come here and talk to our customers face to face and hear what's really going on in their businesses. It's also excellent to hear and to exhibit with our partners. So many of our partners are also here at the restaurant show. We work with reporting tools, point of sales system, all sorts of other software that helps uh, helps proprietors run their businesses more efficiently and the opportunity to see them face to face as well is a huge benefit. When you've got customers that are spread right across the United Kingdom it's really hard to get some face time and see them face to face so uh, the restaurant show gives us the opportunity to catch up with them have a more personal interaction and sometimes that means we can cover more than we could if we were stuck on a zoom call so we can get right into the nitty gritty of their business face to face and that means that you know they're more like we're more likely to get to the roots of the problems that we're solving for them and hopefully our software ends up in their business the audience at the restaurant show are really here to make the make decisions a lot of the people that we're talking to have the ability to influence the decisions in their business so what's great about being here at the restaurant show is we know that the people we're talking to are the ones that are actually going to make the decisions on the other side and they're the people who influence the day-to-day -day operations of the business. When staff, operations managers, people who are normally tied up with the day-to-day -day of running a business, when they get out of the business for a day and come to an event like the restaurant show, it's a lot easier for them to sort of take a step back and think about solving the problems that they encounter day to day. So it's great to have uh, you know, people who would ordinarily be you know, in front of their clients coming to us, taking some time out to really consider what the best solution is. And uh, you know, we like to take advantage of that time that they have out of the business too by showing them what's new that Workforce.com can do for them. We've got lots of tools that help uh, enhance their operations during the day, save them money, and it's really important that you know we take the time so that they can understand exactly how we can save them money, so you know more money in their pockets or in their staff pockets is going to be a good thing for them. We found that there's so many people here today at the restaurant show. There's cafes, there's small pubs, people with. Uh, I spoke to someone earlier with four staff, and then I spoke to someone uh, a little bit after that who was general manager of a quick service restaurant chain with thousands of staff. So we get a wide variety of uh, decision makers, but as I, as I said, the good thing about everyone who is attending today is they are decision makers in their business. So whether it's a pub, whether it's a quick service restaurant, no matter what sort of restaurant they are, these are the people who make the decisions. I was talking to the proprietor of the Moody Mayor earlier, who's a small pub, but we've also had discussions with people representing Costa and Domino's, so large uh, chains and restaurants, which it's great to get in front of. And you know, for us, it's great to see people from Domino's, you know, because we work with them, you know, already in a number of countries throughout the world. Workforce.com helps restaurants of all sizes, so. We, we can work with someone with 10 staff, we work with organisations with 20,000 staff. So the fact that we can see our small clients and our large clients at the one show is really great for us because they're just as important as each other and the service that their customers get, you know, they all value the service that they get. So the more time that we can help save them in the back office, the better service their customers get. The three words I'd use to describe the restaurant show are intimate, unmissable, and hungry because they talk a lot about food and that makes me very hungry. The top three challenges for the industry that we've heard on the ground at the moment would have to be number one, staffing, number two, controlling costs, and number three, the integration of systems. I think number one, staffing, everyone knows about the staffing shortage that is going on for uh, throughout COVID and the hospitality industry is really struggling. It means that they have to make the most of hiring staff and do as much as they can to retain those staff. Uh, when it comes to the second biggest challenge in managing cost, 
that's where we come into our own. We want to help businesses not have those labour blowouts because once they've incurred that cost, they can't get the money back. So we use live uh, tools throughout the day so the businesses know exactly how much they're spending on labour, which for most places is their biggest expense. And number three, well, there's just so much tech. Lots of people come to us and they talk about the ordering tech, the point of sale tech, the workforce management. There's so much to get their head around. So at workforce.com, we integrate with all of the best partners. We're a best of breed solution and we make that, that process really simple for our clients. I think the biggest trend during the lockdown, or the biggest positive trend would have to be the ability of operators to pivot in their own business. We've seen some really innovative things of people who had their main operation taken away from them, so they had to try uh, takeaway or they had to try selling some of their products in a different fashion, uh, which ordinarily would have just sat on the sh shelves or gone off. So it's been great to see hospitality businesses be you know, really agile and pivot to do what they had to to stay afloat. I think that's the biggest positive trend. I think the biggest negative trend would have to be the trend of you know, people to go back home and that means that particularly in a place like London where the restaurant show is held, uh, there's not as many staff available as there used to be. People have gone back to their home country or even to their home, uh, uh, their home county, which means that you know, staff in London in the hospitality sector, really hard to come by, it makes it very difficult for businesses. Um, the experience today at the restaurant show has been fantastic. Essentially, it's been great to get out there and mix with people, something that we haven't been able to do for 18 months. So uh, that's been fantastic. Plus, there's some great providers here. If you need a good coffee, uh, just go see one of the other exhibitors down the hall and you're sorted. <laughs>